Hello, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining me this day and allowing me to share this message with you. We as Christians never in any way, shape, or form do we ever attempt to dissect the Godhead. The Godhead is 100% substantial. And the root word of substantial is substance, not substances, plural. It isn't like the sands of the sea when you walk on the beach. There are many different pebbles, many rocks, tiny rocks, and, and that is not substantial, people. The Godhead is one in substance. That is why it is substantial. Again, we never attempt to dissect, just like sands are little pieces of rock. We never attempt to dissect the Godhead. The Godhead is substantial because of the Spirit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are not like one. They are one. Now, the sands of a beach are like one. Like one means not one. The Godhead is one, and it is substantial. Now, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, several years ago, on the website mormonnewsroom.org, made an official declaration for the world of what they believe the Godhead is, and I'm going to quote it. They said, quote, The Godhead is one in will, purpose, and love, but not one in substance. Close quote. That is not the Christian Godhead. The Godhead is one in substance. And Jesus Christ and his Father are not like one. They are one. And the reason is, is because the Father of Jesus Christ, whom the Latter-day Saints deny, is Jehovah. Jehovah is the word Lord and Lord God in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Bible. And in Psalms chapter 2, verse 7, Jehovah says this. That word is Jehovah, where it says Lord. Jehovah says concerning his son, he says, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Now the word is begotten. That is speaking of who? That is speaking of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father. And the Father said, to, you are my Son, this day I've begotten you. And who is the Father of the only begotten Son spoken of in that verse? Jehovah. Jehovah is the God of the Old Testament. The word Elohim is, it means gods, and we've talked about that. We have been called Elohim. We don't pray to Elohim. We have been called Elohim. We don't pray to Elohim again. In Psalms 82 verse 6, it says, quote, I have said, ye are Elohim, and all of you are children of El Elyon, and El Elyon is the title that means the Most High. Why is Jehovah the Most High? He said in Isaiah 46 verse number 9, he said, I am Jehovah. I am the Lord God. I am Jehovah, and there is no other God. And there is none else. That's why he's the most high, because there is no higher. Higher is not the truth. Higher is a relative term based upon duality, which is like the sands of the sea, dual, more than one, multiplicity. But he has said, I'm the Lord God, there's no other God, and there's none else, and there's none like me. And Latter-day Saints say, that is not so. We will become like our father, El Elyon, the Most High. That is Luciferian. And we have talked about the Luciferian doctrine based on Lucifer in Isaiah 14. He was the one who said, I will be like the Most High. He said, I will be like El Elyon. And that's what Latter-day Saints say. And they pray to Elohim because every time they say, Our Father in Heaven or Our Heavenly Father in their prayers, they believe in their doctrine that His name is Elohim. Our Father is God and God's name, Yahweh, Jehovah. And He said, There is none else. And that is the truth. And Jesus said, I am the truth and the truth will set you free. The Godhead is one substance, and I will tell you that substance is the Spirit. 
we do not deny the one substance, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit bears witness of the Father and the Son because the Holy Spirit is 100% in, 100% in the Father and 100% in the Son. And he is not the Holy Spirit, plural. He's the Holy Spirit, singular. And he is the Spirit of the Lord that is says in the book of Jeremiah that spans all of heaven and spans all of earth because he is omnipresent. And Jesus Christ is the visible image of the invisible omnipresent God. He was the localized image of the non-localized omnipresent God. And when he walked the earth, his head, his father and him were one. And his father was in heaven. In the same way that if you walk out into a river and you have your head above the water, but your body is beneath the water, your body and your head are like one? No, they are one. His head, when he walked the earth, Jesus Christ, his head was above the water in that metaphor. His head was in heaven while his body was on earth. And the scripture, the scriptures bear witness and say that when Jesus walked the earth, he was a complete manifestation of the Godhead in bodily form. He was a complete manifestation of the fullness of the Godhead. And Latter-day Saints deny that. The Latter-day Saint Godhead is not substantial because it is made of substances, plural, substances, because they said they are not one in substance. But the Christian Godhead is substantial, again, because the root word of the word substantial is substance, not substances, not like the sands of the ocean, many substances. Ours is the rock. It is one substance. And we are the body of Christ because we are the members of the church. And the body and the head, which is Christ, are not like one, a metaphor for one. They are one. They are one. Latter-day Saints attempt even to separate Jesus Christ from God. The Young Men's General Presidency Brad Wilcox, a member of that presidency, goes around the congregations of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and makes speeches and talks to the youth. And he gives a little personal anecdote where a young man came to him and said, I do not believe in Joseph Smith anymore, but I do believe in Jesus and God. And Brad Wilcox stopped him right there and said, see, see how you separated Jesus from God? You have Joseph Smith to thank for that. Jesus is not separate from God. Separation from God is on churchofjesuschrist.org's official website, the word per word definition of spiritual death. Jesus is spiritual death. Jesus is separate from God. Jesus is separation from God. Do you see how they do this? They literally lobotomize the Godhead. That is not the truth. Jesus is the life. He's not spiritual death. Spiritual death is separation from God. You have even attempted to separate Jesus from his head, Jehovah. He is not separate from the head. And we are not separate from our head, Christ. We are one. And the substance we are one in is the spirit. And you can't get any more substantial than that. Why do you think it is, again, that the spirit bears witness of the father and the son? Because the one spirit, that's why it's called the spirit, not just a spirit. The spirit is 100% manifest in the father, in the head, and his body, the son. And the body and the head are one. So when you say they are not one in substance, you have denied the spirit. It is also the son that holds all things together, it says in the Bible. All things, and he and all things, all things are in him, for without him 
there would be nothing that is that is and we live and move and have our being and all things that are in him and him are one for we are in him and we are one the godhead is one